Hey, how's it going, man? Welcome to my computer shop. What can I do you for? I'm looking to build a computer. Awesome, cool. So, uh, what kind of computer are you looking to build? There's a lot of uh, different types of uh, computers. A gaming computer, awesome, perfect. I'm actually a pretty big gamer myself. Yeah, yeah, I play all kinds of uh, games. I used to play on the consoles and then I was converted myself to the PC master race. So, happy to have you join us. Um, but yeah, I play World of Warcraft, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Overwatch, um, Heroes of the Storm, um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of great games, uh, that are just enhanced by playing it on the PC, for sure, for sure, yeah. The only thing I don't like is the little, uh, 13 year olds that are always talking shit on the internet, you know? It's like, come on kid, I know you didn't bang my mom, how many times do we have to have this conversation? Your balls have barely dropped, and then you're just gonna tell me that you banged my mom, you know? I mean, I, I probably shouldn't encourage him by returning the sentiment and saying that I banged his mom in return, but, you know, sometimes when you're playing these games, these kids really can get under your skin, especially when they're better than you, you know? But uh, that's that's neither here nor there. I don't even know why I brought that up. Anyway, so, uh, you wanna build your own gaming computer? Um, what kind of uh, budget are you looking to spend? Because depending on that, I can recommend what kind of parts you should get. Um, and we also have builds that I can recommend uh, where you, you know, we have a select uh, amount of parts that you can just buy and then build it from there. So you want a budget friendly computer, perfect. I actually have the perfect build for that. Uh, have you ever used Reddit? You have, okay, perfect. So on Reddit, there is a subreddit called PC Master Race, of course. Um, and they have different builds for uh, different budgets for gaming. One of the builds they have is called the Crusher build. Um, and this is a perfect budget-friendly PC in the four to $500 uh, range, uh, excluding monitors and keyboards. Uh, but uh, it, it, you know, it, it will outperform the consoles, the next-gen consoles, uh, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox uh, will not be able to match it in performance. Um, and it's around the same price. So, um, you know, in addition to that, obviously, you'll be able to um, perform all your regular daily tasks. You know, if you work in an office, you'll be able to, and you need to work from home, you'll be able to, you know, take care of your regular tasks in addition to being able to game and things like that. Sound good to you? Awesome, perfect. So, CPU. Um, I got a couple of things here that I'm gonna show you. I don't have the CPU in stock currently, but we're gonna order it. But it's called the Pentium um, G4560, I think it's called. Um, let me double check, actually. I think I have the note right here. Let's see. So it's the Pentium G4560, I was right. I don't know why I doubted myself. But um, it's a uh, pretty cheap CPU that you can get. And it comes with this little, uh, stock cooler that I have right here. Um, it's very small and and as you can see it uh, obviously the purpose is to keep your CPU cool, and as well as the other surrounding areas of your computer, you know, the fan will spin and keep everything cool and smooth. One caveat, of course, that I want to tell you about the CPU as well as the stock cooler that comes with it is uh, the CPU is a little bit on the weaker side. What I mean by that is because I have parts here that are very a little more expensive, the CPU is more is a cheaper um, brand of CPU um, so that you can save money. You know, it's a budget-friendly PC. 
uh, the goal here is that you want a game, so the CPU can be a little bit on the weaker side. Um, so perfect example I can give you is when you're building your computer and you're going to test out the um, whether it's working or not. There is no, um, this CPU does not support video um, in terms of VGA or DVI. You'd have to actually plug your video card in and use HDMI to display anything on your monitor to find out if you built your computer properly. So that's kind of one of the weaknesses of this CPU. But again, you're saving a lot of money on this, so it can totally uh, do the job just fine if you're willing to deal with that. And of course, the other caveat is that this stock cooler is actually, and you see it makes really good sounds, but uh, when you put it inside your computer, it is really, really loud. Like, it makes a lot of, lot of noise. Um, so, you can get a, a fan controller. Um, unfortunately, you normally would be able to plug this into your motherboard, um, or rather, you would be able to adjust your other fans with the, with the motherboard, but this motherboard that I have here has not, doesn't have the uh, extra slots for that. So, really, there's not much you can do about the sound in terms of this besides getting a fan controller. But I have um, an aftermarket cooler here that I can show you in a second. And this aftermarket cooler makes a world of difference, actually. It's completely day and night. I highly recommend that you get this aftermarket cooler. Um, and if you're going to do that, um, be sure to uh, plan in advance because uh, installing this and then taking it out, wiping it out, wiping the thermal paste out and everything can be quite difficult uh, to do or at least troublesome in my opinion. So uh, if you're gonna get the stock market or the aftermarket cooler, I highly recommend you just don't even put this in, just get the, just put that in right away and you can be done with it. Okay, cool. Let me show you the aftermarket cooler, actually. I have a box right here. Okay, so here it is. It's the Hyper 212 Evo. And uh, So it's got four direct contact heat pipes, continuous direct contact, and universal mounting. And this obviously sounds like a foreign language. It kind of does to me as well. Um, point is that when you install it, your computer will be silent. You won't hear anything. It's unbelievable. It blows my mind every single time. It's even actually a lot more sound than a laptop, which is insane to me because of how big this thing is, but um, it's definitely worth it. I think this cooler is about 30, 40 bucks also, so it's not even that expensive. haven't convinced you yet go ahead and put the cooler in and um, see how you feel about the sound if you don't care that much then it's not a big deal if you're gonna put your headphones on you're just gonna game it's not really gonna matter that much but for me personally I want to start a gaming YouTube channel and obviously you can't record with this loud ass computer in the background you're gonna have to do a lot of post editing and audacity and that can be a kind of pain in the ass you know and you don't really want to deal with it so it can be really worth it just to get this aftermarket cooler okay so uh, let me show you the motherboard here we have the msi b250 pro
And this is a pretty small motherboard, but it has a lot of, uh, as you can see here, it's got a lot of different features that you can find useful. So let me read some of them to you actually. It's got legacy video support. Uh, for VGA and DVI, of course, again, as I've mentioned before, this CPU that you're getting will not be able to support this. I just want to make that clear. But in the future, if you want to upgrade your CPU, if you have a little extra pocket money and you want to upgrade it to something better, then this motherboard will be able to keep up with that, essentially. Uh, it's got steel armor, so it'll be able to prevent damage um, if you're like me. Um, when you actually go to build your computer and you start handling the motherboard, you're going to have like 15 heart attacks just trying to, you know, make sure that you don't break anything. You know, when I built my first computer, I literally almost lost my mind because I was so worried that I was going to just destroy the motherboard. But, uh, the motherboard is actually very, very, uh, durable from my experience working with it. And believe me, I have these really big gruff hands and I was just all up in there, you know, touching the motherboard, just ripping stuff out. And I'm just like, wow, I broke it. There's no way it's gonna work. And it works and runs beautifully. So I highly recommend this motherboard. Uh, it's very durable, uh, fairly easy to plug stuff in, plug stuff out. And it supports the 7th and 6th gen Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 processors. So in the future, of course, when you want to upgrade. Um, and it's got six SATA slots for your hard drive. got six USB ports so perfect if you have to plug a lot of stuff in on your computer on a daily basis maybe you're charging your phone got your microphone plugged in like a blue Yeti for example uh, maybe your headphones are USB as well you know it's got a lot of those USB ports that are very useful in that situation And the audio uh, channels that this motherboard supplies are actually very, very good. I noticed immediately compared to my MacBook when I uh, started listening to audio when I was playing World of Warcraft uh, on my new computer that I built, it sounded so much more crisp and so much more clear. It was absolutely amazing. of the hard drive um, you're fine with getting any you know one terabyte hard drive I actually don't have the boxes here today um, but if you come back I can show you um, but we have plenty ready that you can order and have delivered to your house as well and I highly recommend you get also a solid state drive or an SSD uh, Samsung solid state drive would be just perfect 120 gigabytes um, the reason being is you can install your operating system on the solid state drive and thus you'll be able to boot your computer up much faster and you'll just notice an immediate increase in speed and performance. Of course, you can also take the alternate route and have your operating system on your hard drive and then all your games installed on your SSD. But of course, it's 120 gigabytes, so it might run out of space quickly. My personal, what I did is I installed the operating system on an SSD and then I had my games on my hard drive. But ideally, I recommend you want to get both the hard drive and an SSD um, and just go from there and install it. Of course, like I said, this motherboard has six uh, SATA slots, so you can get plenty of more, uh, plenty more hard drives if you feel the need or SSDs for that matter. Let me show you the power supply. Of course, power supply is very important. I'm saving the video card for last, obviously, because that's the most fun, right? Hold on a second. Not this, not this. Here we go. So, this is a uh, 
G series modular cable power supply. It's uh, 450. You would plug your hard drive as well as your SSD in here before plugging it into your motherboard. And of course you're powering your computer using the power supply. In the back you can see all the features that come with this power supply. Let me just put it. So let me read out some of the features for you. It's got DC to DC converter design, which provides superior dynamic response, greater system stability, and maximize the 12 VDC rail output. It's got tight voltage regulation, which improves load regulation to reduce voltage variations to provide smooth and stable operations. It's got smart and silent fan control, intelligent thermal control to balance between noise and cooling. It's got high reliable 105 Celsius aluminum electrolyte capacitors. It's built with high level Japan source components, which translates to extend product life. It's got conductive polymer aluminum solid capacitors. Built with high level Japan or Taiwan source components, which ensures operation stability at extreme conditions. It's got detachable molecular cables, flexible cable solution to reduce the clutter, high current gold plated terminals, reduces current transmission resistance for increased efficiency. Hmm. Ultra ventilation, of course this is very important. It's a honeycomb structure, maximizes or minimizes I should say airflow resistance for maximum cooling. Multi GPU technology supported Six pin and eight pin PCIe connectors to support all GPU platforms. 120 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing FDB fans. The fluid dynamic bearing FDB is a modified standard sleeve between which improves the lubrication of the bearing. The benefits of this, low noise performance, longer lifespan than traditional sleeve bearing fans, stable noise level even after a long period of operation. It's got universal AC input, plug and run safely anywhere in the world. So if you're traveling, this power supply can come with you. It's perfectly fine. You shouldn't have any issues. Then of course, there's a five year warranty because they have a commitment to superior quality. So uh, it's a good power supply. A lot of people think that uh, the motherboard is the most important part of the computer. And I agree, but without the power supply, your computer won't turn on so mm, I think you know power supply is pretty important as well okay let me show you the video card This is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1050Ti. And this is the number one seller in the United States of NVIDIA based products. With this gaming uh, video card, you should be able to run every modern game that the consoles can run at a relatively good frame rate, depending on the game, of course. Low to medium settings for the more uh, advanced games, of course. 45 to 60 frames per second 
is to be expected. So, turn your PC into a tour gaming rig with the fast powerful GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. It is powered by NVIDIA Pascal, the most advanced GPU architecture ever created and features innovative NVIDIA technologies to drive the latest games in their full glory. So, uh, if you want to play Overwatch, you're good. <clears throat> this is a uh, kind of a smaller video card also and you'll see when you plug it in um, so it's a little easier to manage when you're building everything out um, Since this is your first time, of course, that's ideal because you kind of want to work with the wires a little bit better. Um, you know, having a smaller video card is a little bit easier to manage. I mean, I remember my first time, I had to deal with a lot of wires being messy and things like that. So uh, it's always good to have a little bit more space. So what kind of game are you uh, thinking about playing once you get this, uh, once you build this computer? Battlefield? Yeah, Battlefield is good. Um, a lot of people say it's better than Call of Duty. And it's uh, not hard to disagree. I mean, they have like tanks and I think you can fly in helicopters. It's pretty freaking insane. Really. But yeah, this graphics card will definitely be able to handle Battlefield and any other modern game that you want to, you know, play through. I also recommend downloading Steam uh, if you haven't already. Uh, it can be a great uh, little hub for you to find new and interesting games that you might be interested in, not only from big developers, but also from, you know, smaller indie publishers that uh, perhaps can, you know, really get, create a quality game that maybe uh, would be overlooked otherwise. There's a lot of good games that are not mainstream necessarily, and, you know, they, uh, they can, you know, really uh, get out there if more people are are downloading it via these platforms like Steam. So in terms of memory, um, you really just only need one stick of memory, um, eight gigabytes. I would recommend eight gigabytes of memory. We have a couple of different brands here that you can look through, uh, but it's all fairly similar in terms of um, performance. You could do it 16 gigabytes if you want. This motherboard does support. It has two slots for two sticks of uh, RAM, but uh, eight gigabytes should be fine for your purposes. So, um, if you get all this, it should come around to about four to five hundred bucks. Of course, this is not taking into consideration the monitor, 
as well as the keyboard and you know mouse um, any other things you might have to get in order to make everything uh, work I have a keyboard here that I purchased that I can show you if you want but uh, keyboards and monitors are all very subjective so yeah, you can really pick whatever you feel is necessary and better for you um, okay I can show it to you right now cool let me show you I think it's pretty cool I mean uh, it's, uh, it's pretty affordable you know you a lot of mouses um, keyboards I should say uh, they're you know they're in the 80 90 100 dollar range which is insane um, but uh, I have here this keyboard actually costs about 40 50 bucks I want to say it's a uh, Corsair gaming keyboard k55 it's pretty cool uh, so it's it has a mechanical sound but it's still relatively quiet so if you want to record videos like I plan on doing you won't have to really worry about the being too loud. It's relatively silent, I would say, but it has a nice feel to it as well. And it lights up and it's a lot of different colors too, so it'll match um, really any color of computer or uh, case, I should say, that you get. Um, I want to show you the case that we have, the Tesseract case, but it's like, I want to say like this big and like I can't drag the entire box here so uh, but we have two color options that you can get uh, we have blue and we have red I personally I have red and uh, because I just like red I don't know what else to say uh, so you can get blue also but uh, yeah there's not really much of a uh, big sort of difference between the colors uh, the important part is that the case has uh, it's about 40 bucks it's very very cheap case but it has all the components you'll need all the space you'll need um, it's got space for multiple hard drives multiple SSDs optical drive uh, supports micro ATX um, you know bigger uh, motherboards as well as smaller motherboards it has the holes mounted already so you can just pop the motherboards in screw it in uh, And of course, if all of this sounds like uh, a foreign language to you, don't even worry about it. I mean, when I first built my first computer, I had no idea what I was doing. Literally, it was a very stressful day for me because I was learning as I was going, and I never did this before. I was watching YouTube videos, and you know, people were explaining it, but some videos were better than others, and some videos people weren't, um, you know, as detailed as I would have liked them to be. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Essentially, what you're going to do first when you start is you're going to take the motherboard and you're going to install the cooler, which can be either the stock cooler or the bigger cooler, the aftermarket cooler, which that's a little more complicated to install. Um, you can install your memory into it. That's pretty simple. You just stick it into the slot that's there. You put inside your case you screw it in and then you start you know with the other process that you need to do plugging in your fans your drives your video card and so on and so forth in terms of uh, monitors of course uh, you can get anything that suits your taste. I have a 144 hertz monitor. Um, essentially, it's able to, you know, display better frames per second. But my monitor is about 200 bucks, so I don't know if you want to spend that much on a monitor. You can get a cheaper one for that is about, I want to say, 90 bucks, 100 bucks. 
and it'll be about 60 frames, 60 hertz. Twenty-one inch monitor, probably around there. And of course, if you have difficulty building your computer, please don't hesitate coming down to my shop, and we can take a look at it. We'll have one of our specialists look at it because I'm, you know, I may be, I may work here, and this is my shop, and I own it, but I'm not a hundred percent an expert on all of this stuff. I have people here who work for me that are far more knowledgeable on all of this, all of these materials. So anything I tell you today, you know, don't quote me on it. This is all based off of my experience. You can go um, talk to one of our experts, and they can 100% assist you much better than I can. But you know, I know I know a little bit, and I like to share my knowledge. So, you know, uh, people get intimidated by building a computer because there's a lot of complex parts that uh, need to be put together and connected in different areas. But uh, really, if you put your mind to it, it's not that difficult. Anyone can do it as long as they try. You know, so. But of course, we're always here to help, so don't feel intimidated at all to come here. Even if you just have some questions, you know, I'm here, you know, pretty much every day. <laughs> That's the price I pay for running a business, you know. But I'm always here, and I'm always ready to answer any questions you might have. I'll give you my number, you can call me if you need to. Just don't call me at three o'clock in the morning. Unless your computer's on fire. In which case, yeah, you probably should call them. You know, then the fire department, not me. The most difficult part that you'll find when you build a computer, um, I believe, according to my experience, is just the wire management. Afterwards, is kind of keeping everything neat and tidy. I find that was my most difficult challenge. Um, aside from that, Installing the aftermarket cooler might be a little bit of an issue, um, but uh, mostly because there's a little um, there's a little base that goes underneath the cooler, and that's kind of hard to stick onto the motherboard because it doesn't align properly. There's four uh, little notches that you kind of have to align with the screws. And it's a little bit of a it's almost like playing Tetris, but it's harder. So yeah, um, what do you think? How do you uh, how do you feel about building your first computer? Awesome. Yeah, you like all these parts? Great, perfect. And I can pick up all the stuff I haven't shown you, and I can bring it to the front, and you can check that out. Um, and then we can ring you up. You know, if you want, we can have it delivered to your house. Um, oh, you live down the block? Perfect. Um, hey, actually, I can get one of my guys here. Uh, he can carry some of the stuff for you. The Tesseract case. Uh, it's pretty large, so we'll have to have that delivered. Um, of course, I, I assume you want to inspect it first. Um, it's a pretty big mid-tower case, so we definitely it'll be a challenge to carry. You look like a very strong person, but uh, you know it's it's a little heavy, so we'll have to have that delivered. If that's okay with you, cool, cool, awesome. Uh, so I can bring up everything else. Um, we can have that some stuff you can take, and we can have other stuff delivered. Um, and then you can get started on building a new computer, man. It's gonna be awesome. Cool. Hey, it's been it's been great having this conversation with you. Pleasure doing business. Oh, by the way, um, kind of an unrelated topic, but uh, if you need a haircut, I have a buddy down the street. Uh, he's a little weird. He's a little awkward, I would say. But uh, his haircuts are insanely cheap. I mean, three dollars a haircut. That that's freaking crazy, man. Yeah. So if you if you can. If you need a haircut, this guy's in the neighborhood. I recommend him because it's really cheap. Gets the job done. He's only messed up my haircut twice, okay? Twice. But I'm paying three bucks. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. But, uh, you know, if, if you need a cheap haircut, you know, that's the guy to go to. Um, but, yeah. Hey, this computer, it's going to be great. You're going to be able to play all the games. It's going to be wonderful. Um, so, good luck in building it. And let me just get everything, bring it to the front, I'll ring you up and you'll be on your way and get ready and start this wonderful journey, man. It's, I promise you, it's a very, very rewarding experience when you build your first computer. 
Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be frustrating. You're gonna probably cry a little bit. A couple of tears might come down. You might be very angry. But when it's all said and done, you're gonna feel so accomplished. There is, it's one of the best feelings in life when you build your first computer. You're just like, wow, I built this. You know, I made these complex parts fit together. I made this complex machine work. I did this with my own two hands and my own intelligence. And it's, it's a great feeling. So it's gonna be wonderful, I promise you. Awesome, bro. All right, so I'm gonna get everything together and I'll see you in a bit.